write a proportion to find the segment length. There are four problems here. I'm going to work with number three. But I'm going to let you pause here so you can work on numbers one and two before moving on to three and four. It gives us that these triangles are similar. And we discussed in the last lesson that you have to pair up the corresponding sides. So here I see A. C should go with E C. So five and that unknown length here. This side length B C should match up with D C from the other triangle or the other, yeah, the other triangle side length. So we have 5.4 and 3. Now we can cross multiply. That gives me 5.4x equals 15. Divide by 5.4. So that side length is going to be 15 divided by 5.4, which is 2. 0.7 repeating. You can round it to 2.8. Study the artwork in each category. What do you think the difference is between the artwork in category 1 and the artwork in category 2? Category 1 is all two-dimensional artwork. It appears to be flat. Whereas category two has a three-dimensional aspect to it where you can see there's some depth to the paintings. Painting one also has some depth to it. So you would place it in category two like the other two paintings. This one also has some depth. You can see that the furniture in the background looks like it's farther away than the foreground. Whereas this one appears to be flat. So this one you could say is 2D, so it would fit into category 1. This also has some depth to it. You can see that there are layers upon layers, and it gives a, a feel of depth to this artwork. What is the purpose of the lines in each of these examples? It shows perspective. It gives an aspect of depth to the artwork. It gives you a focal point. For problems three through five, use the space provided to take notes and draw a diagram from the video. What is the height of the building to the nearest foot? So we're going to watch the video and then come back to this slide to take notes and calculate the height of the building.
the measurements written down here in the little diagram. We know that these triangles are similar because they both have right angles. The child is standing straight up and the building is standing straight off of the ground as well. And the mirror reflects the same angle that you see into it coming out of it. So by AA criterion, these are similar. Now we can create a ratio or a proportion for the side lengths that are corresponding to one another. So this is the height of the building. We need the distance from the mirror to the building, so we will need to subtract 7.2 from 7, 1,750, which is 1,742.8, and the distance from the mirror to the boy is 7.2. We will cross multiply. Oops. 5.3 times 1,742 is 9,236.84, and that equals 7.2x, then solve it for x, divide both sides by 7.2, which is a little over 1,282, but it asks us to round to the nearest foot, so 1,283 feet tall were the building. Now we have another question about a flagpole, so we'll watch the video first and then come back to solve the problem. This one asks for the length of the flagpole to the nearest tenth of a foot. So we're going to pair up this longest part of the flagpole with the little part where the mechanism is, and then we're going to compare it to the shadow length versus the shadow for that little mechanism piece. So we have 15 over 1.7 equals x over 3. Cross multiply. And divide by 1.7. And we are rounding to the nearest tenth of a foot, and that is 26.5 feet. And we were able to say that these were similar because they both have this angle in the triangle, and then they also have these angles which are the same, 
because the rays of the sun create parallel lines for the shadow. So these are considered corresponding angles with the parallel lines and the transversal. So by a criterion, they're similar, so we can set up their side lengths in a proportion. We have one more video about a kite. We know that these angles here in the corner are the same in both of the triangles because they overlap. And we also know that the boy is standing at a right angle and then that height will be perpendicular to the ground as well. So we can compare the distance on the ground if I put that 5.5 in the wrong spot the height of the boy with the height of the kite and the distance of the string for the whole kite to the point where the boy is standing cross multiply and for this one, we are going to round to the nearest foot. So when you finish, you are rounding to the closest whole number. And that is measured in feet. Check back in for lesson 16.